beautiful when we go to our Lord. He's the only one deserving of this worship, giving him our very best. We may appreciate other people, appreciate things, but when it comes to giving what is our very core, the best of us, he rightly deserves it. He deserves it. When we come in his presence, we give him our everything. We tell him that he's wonderful, he's holy, he's righteous. He's the all sufficient God, he's the all knowing God. There is none like him. There can never be any like him. He's formed the whole of creation just by the words of his mouth. Now, some people teach evolution and rest, but we know that our God spoke everything into existence. Amen. It's not for us to question and try to find out how, why. Listen, that's what makes him God. If we can answer and, and explain God away, then he's no longer God. <laughs> the Bible says, in Proverbs, it's saying it's the glory of God to conceal a matter. And it's the glory of man, kings, to stretch it out. He's hidden so many things that we're discovering and we were claiming credit for it. Oh, I found this. I discovered this. No, he hid them. And said, so listen, go, go, go. <laughs> I say, go, go get it. Go search them out. We can't, we can't explain it. We can't figure it out. So the best we can do is give him our all. Just surrender at his feet and say, Lord, you are the king of all. We exalt you. We magnify your name. We bless you, O God. We bless you, O God. We bless you, God. We sing to you our song. We give to you our worship. We say, be exalted, O God, in what we bring to you. Let our worship rise to you as a sweet smell and savor. That which you desire, that which is acceptable to you. Hallelujah.